There are some processes that are common to all living things. That means they happen in both eukaryotes and prokaryotes. The first is that they reproduce themselves. All living things need to be able to reproduce in order to keep their species alive. Eukaryotic cells reproduce through the process of mitosis, and prokaryotic cells reproduce through the process of binary fission. All living things also have the ability to metabolize nutrients. This includes digesting food and making new molecules like proteins in every cell. Both eukaryotes and prokaryotes have the ability to metabolize nutrients. And finally, all cells have the ability to maintain homeostasis. That means that they can keep a steady balance of nutrients, water, and energy inside of themselves in order to stay alive. Both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells are surrounded by a cell membrane, which controls what can enter and exit the cell. They're both full of a gel-like substance called cytoplasm, which contains all the water, nutrients, and organelles the cell needs. Every living thing also contains DNA in the form of chromosomes. Prokaryotic cells have one circular chromosome, and eukaryotic cells have many linear or straight chromosomes. And finally, all cells have ribosomes because all cells need to make proteins, and ribosomes are the little dots you see in each cell diagram. The main difference between eukaryotes and prokaryotes is that eukaryotic cells keep their chromosomes inside of a nucleus. Eukaryotic cells also have membrane-bound organelles like the mitochondria, Golgi bodies, and endoplasmic reticulum. And prokaryotic cells do not have any of these complicated membrane-bound organelles. You'll also notice that eukaryotic cells are much larger than prokaryotic cells and they're also much more complex because they're full of so many membrane-bound organelles and they're so much larger.